We've been on the road for more than two months now. It's uh, starting to take a toll on both of us. I'm tired, exhausted, too many early mornings to catch the sunrise, too many evenings staying out until well after sunset, very little sleep, packing, unpacking, always on the move. Her ball isn't doing any better. It feels like every day there is something new with him. One day the emergency brake stops working. Another day the tank spills when you fill it up. He needs new struts and new joint balls and many other things. The latest one is that the driver's window gave up yesterday. It is snapped off the truck and it just won't hold. I'm taping it hoping that that will be enough. I still have thousands of miles ahead of me, and with temperatures dropping to as low as 25 degrees these days, this uh, could be a big problem. We keep pushing though, we've come so far, we're not going to quit now. For more than a week, we've been heading south, barely escaping the winter storms that are raging farther north at this very moment. We are both hoping for an easier route down here. So this is the beginning of the end of this road trip. We are going east and we want to be looking back again. Ahead of us lie many days and nights in beautiful places we both want to witness and experience. We will be taking them one by one. Today, the first of them, Death Valley. 11.53 AM. Distances here are exaggerated and hard to comprehend. There are no towns. Somehow, you feel freer here than anywhere else. Becoming paranoid with every noise from the car, driving slow. Dark clouds in the horizon, the wind is brutal. The road has made this place accessible, but it hasn't tamed it. It's still an extreme and otherworldly place, and it feels that way. One forty-eight p.m. At last, Death Valley. Death Valley. So cool. I had never seen it before like this. With so many clouds and so dark. 2.31 p.m. Two drops. It's raining in Death Valley. Almost done, setting up the tent, but it's getting pretty stormy and windy here. Ooh. 
Oh, it is windy. And yeah, there is a ton of sand around here. So it's almost like a sandstorm or whatever you want to call it. 3.07 PM. Weather is getting crazy here. The wind is very intense now. There's sand everywhere. I have no idea where to go, but I feel I need to be out there somewhere, anywhere. I think the light is going to happen here. It's gonna be pretty, but it's so windy and it's just sand everywhere. It's gonna get in my eyes and everywhere. I don't even have uh, sunglasses, so not really sure what to do. All right, the light is getting very beautiful and uh, it's super windy. The car is moving. Uh, everyone seems to be having a very hard time, but we live only once, right? So let's go for it. So beautiful though, so, so beautiful, but it's, it's impossible. My God, I almost dropped my cameras plenty of times and there was no reward. I took a bunch of images, but I mean, I could barely think about what I was doing because the camera was moving so much. I tried, but yeah, my God, the car is moving so much. All I can think of right now is that with this wind, I'm not going to be able to cook dinner. What am I going to do? Four oh nine p.m. Conditions are bad. I really want to get out of the car and make some images, but it's not going to happen. I don't want to give up, but shooting from the car is not really working, and I can't find anything to photograph. Five oh seven p.m. Back at camp. It's looking bad, and things are just getting worse. I just realized I got the wrong propane for my brand new stove. I better forget about warm food tonight. Would have it been better if it was hot? Sure, but better than nothing. Death Valley has not been very welcoming <laughs> tonight. Uh, I hope the conditions improve tomorrow. The uh, weather is something I was not expecting. I was expecting some clouds and chance of rain, sure, but not this wind and this sand and, and now it's raining and yeah, let's finish dinner. <laughs> Five forty-five p.m. I try to work, but this darkness is making me really tired. It's still early, but it's been a long day. I'm hoping tomorrow's sunrise will be a good one. I want to be ready, if that's the case. a.m. 
I can see the stars, a lot of them. The clouds are gone, no wind, not even a breeze, silence, peace. I'm heading to Sabrisky Point for sunrise. 5.22 a.m. It seems that I'm not the first one here. I guess it doesn't come as a surprise, but the parking lot is completely full. It's 5.30 in the morning, but it's going to be a beautiful sunrise here. And the peaks at the other side of the valley have fresh snow on them, I think. So it should be pretty cool. a.m. I feel so grateful for being able to see a sunrise in such a beautiful place. But reality starts to sink in. Today is going to be a very challenging day in Death Valley. Always a hard place to photograph. It's still early and the light is already so harsh. So the store is closed still. Hopefully I can find some coffee around here. Just in. Breaking news. I bought uh, more propane at the store. Uh, Hopefully this one works. It does say universal screw valve. So it should work, right, if, if it's universal? Yes, 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 yes. This one definitely works. Nice, unlimited coffee. Nice, I'm so happy, so happy, so happy. 8.40 a.m., armed with newly gained confidence, I decide to hike Golden Canyon. I anticipate struggle, so I decide to go with the 35mm prime lens to stay focused on just one focal length. Of course, I'm bringing my other lenses too, just in case.
10.04 a.m. This place is just a pile of rocks. How, how do you photograph this? I'm really struggling here. One twenty one PM. After lunch I look at some of the photos I made this morning and reflect on them. Not for long though. I need to rest. I need all the energy I can master for sunset. I'm heading to a location for which I had the most hopes at the beginning of the trip. It's going to be beautiful and new images will be born there. This was uh, part one of uh, Dead Valley Photography Journal. There is a part two that is coming out in uh, just a few days. Make sure that you don't miss out on that one by subscribing if you haven't already. And if you like this video, please consider pressing that thumbs up uh, button because it really helps me. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in part two.